Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a Microsoft form to your SharePoint. If you enjoy SharePoint, Teams, Power Apps, and Power Automate videos, feel free to subscribe to be putting out more videos in those areas. So let's get into the video. So you're looking to add a Microsoft form to your SharePoint site. So I will be using my marketing survey. So this is just a simple form with a few questions. Obviously your forms are gonna have um, a lot of different questions or different amounts of questions, that's fine. So the first way, there's actually two ways you can add the form to your SharePoint. The first way is going to be adding a hyperlink on the navigation of your site. So if I click on edit, and if I click on the add a link or label to navigation, Let's say I want to make this form a clickable link on the left hand side. So display name, this would be marketing survey. And then we just need to add the link. And if you're the form owner, if you click on collect responses, only people in my organization can respond will likely be your example uh, address. You can go ahead and paste it and open a new tab is always handy. I will do that and click on OK. Then you want to save it. So if we look at the left hand side now, we have a marketing survey form. If a user clicks on it, it's going to direct them to the form. So they'll go ahead and submit their answers. So the second way you can add a form is if you add it to a SharePoint page. And it'll actually be embedded in the SharePoint site. So I'm going to go ahead and click on new and we'll do a new page. I just want a blank page and I'm just going to exit out of this, click on blank, click on create page. So this will actually create a new page. So I'm just going to do marketing survey form. And then you can add text here, but I'm actually going to delete this section. And I want to click on add a new web part and column use. It's going to be between the header and the Comments, if you have comments enabled. So if you go ahead and click on search, search for forms. Now we can see, we can add a new form or existing form. For my case, I'm going to do existing form. And on the right hand side, you're going to get this pop up. So I want to go ahead and copy the, the link. And I was having trouble pasting it. So I just pasted it, you know, like responses. Click on OK. It says this is not a valid form link. Please copy a URL from Microsoft Forms. So in your link, instead of Microsoft right here, you're going to want to replace that with Office. So forms.office.com and click on OK. So as you can see, our form is now in the website. So click on X. And as you can see, the form is now on our site. Click on Publish. So this will publish it for all your SharePoint users. And we want to add this page to the sidebar. So if we copy the URL at the top, click on edit, click on new link, marketing survey form, paste the address. It's going to be a link. You can open a new tab if you want. I'm going to click on OK, save. So now if we click on this link, open a new tab and there's the form for your team to fill out if i fill this out click on my favorite sport favorite pizza favorite food i mean and favorite music click on submit we'll say hey your your response is submitted and if you're new to forms if you want to if you're the owner of the form and want to see the results of the form click on responses at the top up here and if you click in open in excel all right so i'm actually having technical difficulties if you click on open in Excel, it should open up the Excel in the web and give you all the results. For some reason, mine's not working and I don't feel like diagnosing this problem this late at night. But if you just want to review the results of the submissions, you go ahead and click on view results on the left-hand side, go through each one, document it, and that's how you see your form results. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned how to integrate your Microsoft Forms on your SharePoint. If you like the video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I will catch you in the next one.